This video will address the health, safety, and policies and procedures that have been put in place at Howland Middle School due to COVID-19. Temperatures will be digitally checked upon student entry. Any student that has a temperature of 100 degrees Fahrenheit or higher will go to the clinic for further assessment. You can see in the bottom left-hand corner the uh, thermometer that students will be checked digitally with, and students will walk up to this thermometer with their mask on. The uh, digital thermometer will identify whether or not the student is wearing a mask and also identify the temperature. Students will receive a thank you with a green check mark, or they will be told to uh, see a screener. The uh, students and parents should also in the morning prior to coming to school, make sure you get your temperature checked and make sure that you are not exhibiting any signs of COVID-19. If you are, please do not come to school and make sure to follow up with your healthcare provider. Sanitation. Touchless hand sanitizers have been installed in all classrooms. You can see that above me here. Uh, the hand sanitizers, students just need to put their hand directly underneath and some hand sanitizer will come out. Also throughout the building, students will see some of these portable hand sanitizers as well um, that they can use uh, as they are transitioning throughout the building. All high touch surfaces will be sanitized multiple times a day and teachers will use sanitation in between classes uh, touching or sanitizing any high touch areas. Mask wearing. All students and staff are required to wear masks at all times. Students are to bring, excuse me, wear their masks to school and you should also students keep an extra mask or two in your book bag just in case something happens to your mask during the school day. Face shields are not a replacement for cloth masks. And here with me today is Mr. Kosick, our assistant principal, and he is going to dis display the proper way to wear a mask. The proper fitting of a standard mask is simply to place it over your mouth and nose, use the loops to go around the back of the ears, pull the bottom of the mask down below the chin while pinching the metal strip, if it if applicable, over the bridge of the nose. And that will provide a proper fit. And it's very important for you to have this fit to prevent the spread of any sort of virus particles that might be airborne in any way. This would not be a proper fit. As you can see, my nose is exposed. We know that the nose carries a high viral load. So we would want to always make sure that the nose is covered up properly by the mask. This would be completely inappropriate in regards to a fitting of a mask. So we simply ask that all students at all times, not only wear your mask, but wear your mask properly so that we can prevent the spread of COVID-19 and keep everybody safe throughout the day. All right, thank you, Mr. Kosick. Lockers. Uh, lockers will not be used until further notice. Students will be carrying their backpacks to class with them. And of course, we'll be uh, giving out additional information once we are back in school and teachers will be giving policies and the way that they're expecting students to store their belongings when they go to each teacher's classroom. Uh, student athletes should not bring their equipment or bags or clothing to school as most middle school practices, actually all middle school practices will be occurring later in the evening, not directly after the school day. Please help us to ensure that your child's cell phone remains off at all times. Usually students keep their cell phones in their lockers and so it's not really a problem. You know, obviously it's not a disruption to class if it goes off. Being that the uh, cell phones are going to be in the student's book bag. We want to make sure that they keep their phones off. Uh, please make sure that you are not, you don't have any alarm set on your phone, or please make sure that you're not texting or calling your student during the school day, just in case uh, their phone is not on silent. 
uh, social distancing. Looks like this will be good here. Uh, we have two examples of rooms here where the classrooms are socially distanced. Classroom desks have been positioned to allow for six feet of distance between students. Classroom seats will be assigned in every class and students will be required to sit in the assigned seat that they are in. Um, you can see in this picture over here, this seat is backwards to the front of the room and has a red X on the desk. So the student would know that he or she is not to sit in that seat. Um, in other rooms where there are not as many desks, there may not be any red X's because all seats would be able to be sat in because they are all socially distanced. There's also going to be decals and signage placed throughout the building, which will help students be able to figure out which direction the hallway is. And we'll have another video that you can watch to learn about the traffic flow of the building itself. Please help to reinforce to your child the importance of following social distance practices and procedures while at school.